special guest on the streets, Mr. Smokey Sigler, the president of the town council. And he's going to tell us exactly how the parade went and some of the favorites and memories that are made from this year's parade. Hello, sir. Hello, miss. Great. So tell us uh, your outcome of the parade and what you thought this year's parade was about. This year's parade was just absolutely amazing. I talked to people who have come up afterwards and said, this is the biggest parade we've had yet. And I think this is like our 41st year that we've done the parade. And every year, and I've been involved with the parade for the last six years that I've been on the council. And every year gets better, more people come, people have finally figured out where the best places are to park and from here to the high school it's just packed and mobbed with people and then when you make the turn on the commerce you look down through this wall of people and everybody's standing there but the ones that really stick out to my mind are the young ones oh yeah when we have the Christmas tree deck Christmas tree lighting ceremony and you see from about four feet down all these kids are putting their ornaments up with pictures and the parents are coming up putting pictures on with the, of their kids' faces right. on it. And then with the music that the Ken Island Community Band plays for this, and the, the, the liaison that everything that has to happen to put on a parade this size yes. gets more and more involved every year, and we couldn't do it without the fire department. We couldn't do it without the state police, the sheriff's department, the town police who coordinate all, the, all these events, the state highway who allows us to close the yes, streets definitely. to do this. And the patience of the people who we know are trying to get home but have to get diverted for, for the that two one hours night a year, for, for that the one best one night ever. of the year for the best parade <laughs> ever. And they have patience. And and this is what the spirit of Christmas is about. It's a feeling that everybody gets about how they feel about each other and about the the meaning of Christmas. And so for me, <coughs> excuse me. To see that on the faces of the kids, on the floats, oh, yeah. and on the kids who are setting along the parade route, just the glow in their eyes when the floats come by, and to see the parents there spending that kind of time with their kids is what this is all about. Definitely. And the decorations that we keep adding to every year in the town, like I said, if you yeah, look down Lawyer's, Lawyer's Road out. with the Christmas trees, <coughs> excuse me, these started out with about three trees. And now I think there's about 20, and we hope to be able to just keep moving those around the courthouse as more and more groups want to get involved. And, and they're that's, local groups, They're correct? local groups, Boy Scout troops, Girl Scout troops, softball uh, teams, softball teams, just getting together and doing something for the community. Yes. And that's what Centerville's turning into. A, a community of people who care about the community, want to live here and make Centerville the kind of place that attracts other people to come to. And that, as a, as a council member, makes me feel very good. Yes, and one of the big talks about the parade this year, everybody was so worried, was Kidwell going to open? Oh my God. <laughs> but we prayed and prayed and Centerville pulled through and Kidwell was open and the Kidwell. parade went off with a bang. Yeah, there was, we have this local residence of Centerville social media site. And for the last week, all we're seeing, and I look at it every day going, patience, please just have patience. We will endeavor to persevere. <laughs> yes. We will make this happen so that we can have our parade from the rain in the middle of the week to push the construction back to where we had to go back in today and grade everything. And those guys were out there all day today, working their butts off, getting the road passable so that we could have the parade along the the route works. that works for everybody. Our parade lasts about an hour and 20 minutes. We had about 72 units in the parade and everybody got through the parade. We started the high school, we finished it to high school, which makes it so much easier for people to go home because once they Definitely. get back there, the Sheriff's Department, Queen Anne's, uh, Queen Anne's County, the, the State Police and the Central Police Department are able to direct those people out of town the yes. quickest routes and they're out, they're done out there in 30 minutes and getting people out of town back back so it's it we, without our volunteers we couldn't pull this off every year and as it gets bigger every year we need more volunteers definitely and people step up and they repeat step up and they're coming back come up, what can i do to help this year and without our core group of people carolyn brinkley our town clerk uh carolyn um the Agostino, our Main Street manager, who gets all the judges together in this very unique way that we identify all the floats. When you pull into the high school, 
you're in a lineup with a number. Right. That number follows you the whole way through the parade <laughs> because once it comes to the front where Mr. Paul Gunther, who is our MC yes. and who's been our MC for the last several years, we have a schedule of numbers and then we have volunteers who hold up the number sign as the floats get close so that I can look down there and see the number and then I'll point to that to Paul on the list and then he reads the intro for that float. So there's a system behind there, there, everything. There is a system behind everything and that system continues right through the end when we have our guys going back along the route, picking up all the trash, all the chairs, yeah, all, everything that's left behind and putting everything back together the way it was. And of course now tomorrow is heck with the malls. With the malls. Business so as usual. business as usual downtown and everything is cleaned up, ready for the, for the heck with the malls. So it's just been a great event. It turns into a better event every year. Fantastic. And if you're watching from home, shame on you. Right. Because <laughs> you, you be need downtown. you've got to be downtown. You gotta catch that flavor of what happens downtown during an event like this that's in your town. Yes. Okay? It's definitely one of the best Absolutely. Uh, I have been coming for years and I don't miss it. I stay in town and yeah. it's one of my favorites. It definitely is. something you don't want to miss. No, you don't want to miss this. So if you stay at home, shame on you. Come back next year because we'll be back next year.